talking about today's recipe because it is pure indulgence on my part because this is like the most nostalgic recipe I have in my repertoire and if you haven't done this recipe I would be surprised or you just maybe aren't from the UK so that's fair enough. This is the most simple Easter recipe you could ever wish to do. It is chocolate nests with mini eggs. I mean it's gonna take us like 60 seconds but let's do it. So this recipe is just three ingredients. It is chocolate, shredded wheat or cornflakes depending on which you prefer and mini eggs. Oh and a bit of golden syrup. Four, four, four. So you need double the amount of chocolate to your chosen cereal. So I've got 200 grams of dairy milk chocolate here that I've just melted down in a bain-marie. And then you've got 100 grams of shredded wheat, which just give that really like nice nesty effect. So with our shredded wheat, we're just going to crumble them up a little bit. Oh, it just takes me back. This is like a classic grandma picks recipe or every person's grandma, I'm sure. So with our chocolate, I am gonna loosen it down with two tablespoons of golden syrup because they're just not quite sweet and indulgent enough. One, two, yes, I'm doing this by eye. No, it's probably not accurate. I could have cocked it up if I'm honest. Okay, grandma lied because I don't know what just happened, but when you add the golden syrup to warm melted chocolate, it kind of solidifies, yeah? You're all watching this now going, yeah, Kate, no bleep. But uh, I don't remember that part of childhood, so. So if you add your golden syrup and you think, oh, it's all gone, it's all gone to pot, add a little bit of milk, put it back on the heat for a little bit, take it off and just give it some elbow grease and it's okay, we are back. It's okay. But the recipe is gonna look different on my website because screw you, grandma. We're not using golden syrup. We're gonna go straight into our shredded wheat with our chocolate. It's classic that the most simple recipes are the ones that go wrong. I think there's enough freaking chocolate in it. <laughs> that is a dry nest, people. <laughs> that noise you can hear in the background is uh, just a bit of chocolate on the boil again because I didn't trust grandma. She lost my faith with the golden syrup and uh, I wasn't sure the chocolate was going to go far enough but it has and we're okay. We're going to grab ourselves some spoons and we're going to fill these most adorable little cupcake cases, little Easter flowers, how cute are they? And I will link these in the description box below. Now we're going to do the really simple task which is just to put our nests into the cupcake cases. This is honestly the simplest recipe of the day. <laughs> Side note, that is not a bain marie. Don't do it like that. Your bowl should not be touching the bottom of the pan. <laughs> Has this recipe gone horribly wrong or what? Let's make these magical nests. So we're gonna take a nice big spoon and we're gonna pop it into our little cases. We wanna make a little well in the middle because it's a nest, people. Left to do now is to add our eggs. I know this isn't a good idea, but I'm doing it anyway. There we go. And there you have it. I mean, I promise you, this recipe is the easiest thing known to mankind. I'm obviously a bit out of practice. It's been a year since I last made them, but beautiful. Grandma, I hope I did you proud. They did only make 11 though, not 12. <laughs> I'm gonna try one now. Now obviously you wanna leave these to cool so that they set, but I'm too greedy and I've got things to do today. So I'm just gonna try a bit as it is. <gasps> oh yeah, that is like proper nostalgia. Good Friday, Easter Monday, long weekend, perfect opportunity to get in the kitchen, get the kids in the kitchen. You can see how simple and straightforward this is. There's no excuse not to have a little bit of home baking fun. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. I hope you have a wonderful year whenever you're watching this. 
And uh, guys, feel free to subscribe and tune in next time for more delightful, easy to follow recipes. Bye! <laughs> Do I sound like a chicken at the end then? Ah!